everyone, welcome back. Dancer here, and today we are um, beautifying this um, zoo up. Um, so we are just starting here at the entrance. I wanted to do a little bit of a water world, um, not world, um, just like a little fountain feature. Um, looking for the um, little words or um, letters, and I discovered that they were all going to be way too big for this little sign that I wanted. So we just went with an edible sign um, and made it work perfect. Um, it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm actually really happy with how the time lapse um, turns out in total. I believe the time lapse is about 16 and a half minutes, um, but I did put the, um, or I will be putting the thing in the description that um, you can, the timestamp, that's what it's called. Yeah, um, so here just looking at different uh, water features and I did have to let the game play so that I could get the um, research done. And I don't know why I struggled with this for so long, but it took me forever to realize that I just needed to move the red line, not the blue one. And I, I got it in the end, but it took me a while and it was really frustrating. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turns out. Um, we're just gonna add some foliage in this area because if you know me, you know I love my foliage. Um, people from Planet Coaster can definitely, definitely um, say that that is very true about me. Um, so yeah, we are just getting this welcome area. Really happy with how it turns out. Um, and we actually do a lot in this time lapse. And I am really excited. Um, if you missed the last episode, no need to go back and watch it. Um, we do a little tour once we hop in to the real time. Unless you want to watch me build the Japanese macaque um, exhibit, um, then go ahead and f watch that. Um, but yeah, I noticed that my gameplay is I'll be working on something and then just out of the blue, I will go and start working on something else. Not sure why I do that, but that is what I do. Um, and then I sometimes go back to fix what I was doing or work on what I was doing, uh, but other times I don't. Uh, so that is why you will see a lot of cuts in today's time lapse. Um, yeah, if cuts bother you and you don't want to see cuts in the time lapse, let me know in the comments and I will stop cutting them and I will try to be more um, cognizant of what I am doing while I'm recording the time lapse. Um, but yeah, just going around making sure all of the guests have good viewing um, areas and making sure that their needs are up. You know, this is hard mode so we want to uh, make sure that all of our guests are being taken care of as well as our animals so that we can s continue to be a profitable zoo. Um, so yeah, we um, I did work on getting the, um, the Just a Memento, that is what I was looking for. Um, and so I got that research and we will be adding the gift shop in this time lapse, which I think it turns out really good. I do want to add more detail, um, but we will get there when we get there. Um, this area, I just kind of wanted to do like a little forest area. It is a zoo, so I figure there's going to be a lot of plants everywhere. Um, so I figure this is kind of how we're going to um, decorate the whole front area. Um, but I only do this little area first. Um, and then we're jumping back over to the Japanese mar marcock and um, adding some indoor climbing area so that um, if it is too hot outside, they can still get their needs uh, with their climbing and stuff. And yeah, and yeah, so they will be um, having a lovely time. Uh, you can see it is snowing in September. I really wish that the game knew, like, 
when it was winter and when it would snow. You know? I also wish you could pick... I guess you can pick your region that you're in. Whether you're in, like, North America um, or the Northern Hemisphere or not. Um, so yeah, that's, that's nice, but... Yeah, um, just going and duplicating that little forest area that we did um, and putting it on the other side and adding this little um, planter box. It actually will come back to it in a little bit, I think. Maybe we do it now. I can't remember. I record in such a weird way. Um, yeah, I kind of want to hide the staff area and that staff entrance to the exhibit. So that is kind of what we are doing here. Um, I do need to do a little bit more foliage and something else to really hide it, um, but we'll get there. And I do want to add the staff area, or I want to put all the staff area in a building, um, which we might get to next episode. We don't get to that this episode. Um, and if you notice, um, we do have some alerts that we need to get the um, vet surgery and the quarantine building. Um, I don't get it this episode, but I will for sure get it next episode. Um, I'm not too happy with the progress that we made in the real-time portion of the video, uh, so we will be going and redoing that next episode in the time-lapse. Um, I, I felt a little rushed, and yeah. So we got the um, Just a Memento here, and we are um, just getting the outline for the building. I wanted to go with a um, Japanese-type building. Um, I did do some research on the difference between the Japanese architecture and the Chinese architecture. Um, I'm not, still not 100% sure on um, like what the main differences are. Um, so my apologies if I am saying that wrong. Um, I did not realize that when I did that path, that was part of a huge area. So um, I wanted to go and change that, but I found it to be like almost impossible. So we did shorten it just a little bit because um, I didn't. I realized that we didn't need all of that room. Um, so yeah, we just shortened it a little bit, and yeah, um, here we're just getting the outline. I wish that you could turn the building or the pieces, like the wall pieces, 45 degrees when it's on the grid, like. You know how amazing that would be? It'd be so much better, because I had to do two different buildings here um, and kind of work them together, which it, it worked out fine in the end, um, but it was just kind of annoying, because I always like to try to keep all of the building pieces together, um, but that's not the case. Uh, we worked around with it, and yeah. Um, I was gonna originally move that back piece, but then it wasn't gonna connect. So I decided that we can just move the front piece and all will be well. Um, this back corner actually is a little different. It doesn't have that second pole. Um, I figured that guests probably won't see it because it's in the back. But if it bothers you guys, let me know and I will fix that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I kind of did a little bit of different architecture here. Um, we went and that bottom part of that other building is actually going to be a little platform deck thing. So yeah, but I'm actually pretty happy with how this building turns out. I think it looks really good after we get some of the details on. I do want to get more details on the outside as well on the inside, um, which you will see in a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, let me know any feedback that you have. I was going to do that little double thing, but I decided not to, um, and I did pull up some inspiration. I do have a, well at work I've been kind of looking at some different inspiration that we can use in this zoo, um, and I have it all on a Google Sheet, or a Google Doc, yeah. 
So if that's something that you guys would want to see as well, um, let me know. It's just a bunch of links to different pages, um, web pages, and yeah. Um, so I realized that our mechanic has been busy researching and has not had the adequate time to go and um, fix the barriers, which it's a problem, but I guess it's kind of what it is. Um, but we'll, we'll get it taken care of sooner or later. Um, so here we are just adding that little deck area. Um, not sure what inspired this, but it, it works out in the end and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, don't worry, we go and fix that little gap there um, so that it is all even. And yeah, not sure what else to talk about um, during this little bit here. Um, but yeah, I did see um, one of the videos that the lady designer um, posted on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure when it was posted, um, but she did it a, kind of like a Discord challenge, a, a Discord server challenge, um, where they went and they were given a specific size of land, and people had to put an or a habitat, um, the entrance, as well as all of the staff buildings, and um, I think the guests' needs as well. Um, so I took a lot of inspiration from that with having a gift shop. Um, a couple of them actually had a nice gift shop. So that's kind of where I took this inspiration from. And um, yeah, just trying to hide that little barrier, the that right there, um, by adding these um, little pillars, which we will put some nice little pots on. Um, but yeah, I think I do need to unlock some more, um, whatchamacallzits, the, um, drawing a blank, um, the different, the, the things. Yeah, we need to unlock the different things so that we can have more items to put everywhere. Um, and then we can kind of fill up this area a little bit more. Um, I do want to do like a gift shop per each area of the zoo that we do. Um, and I did decide that we are going to do the zoo based on the um, region that the animal is from. And so that's kind of how it's gonna, we're gonna put things. Um, so I was debating on whether we should do like all like the big cats together, like the lions, the tigers, the cheetahs, all those types of animals um, together, and then I do like all of the monkeys together, just all of those basic classifications. Um, but I decided against it, uh, mainly because I thought it'd be more fun to decorate areas based on like which region the area or the animal is from. So that is um, kind of why I went away from that. But I uh, am still, I'm pretty happy with things, how things are going. Um, here we are adding a little entrance ticket booth area. Um, the ticket booths aren't actually there, but you know, it, it, it works. It kind of looks like it is. So that is, uh, yeah. Um, so I wanted to put a area, um, the, the roof that goes around a box, or a, like a, this, this roof. I wanted to put that on, but then I decided that it would look weird because it doesn't fit it. So I decided to go with these roofs. Um, there's a little bit of collision. Let me know if that bothers you and I can spread them out a little bit. Um, but I think it looks pretty good overall. It looks like it's all supposed to be one building, even though it is three separate buildings. 
Um, and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, we are about done with the time lapse, just a couple more minutes. Um, and yeah, we are going to add some education around the place because we did get a, um, a, I can't remember anything. Um, I didn't realize that this morning was going to be so hard for me to record, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I didn't, um, we had the inspector come and said that the education was very poor. But I thought it'd be good to get some education around the place. So, yeah, I'm just going and adding some decoration to this building. I do want to add a lot more, um, but I found it really hard to find the pieces that I was looking for. Um, so I think we're gonna add some like greenery and stuff. Um, but yeah, here we are getting to watch an animal birth, um, you know, Planet Zoo style. So just kind of appears out of nowhere. Uh, but we do have a baby Japanese Markok. So that is really exciting. Hopefully we get a lot more people in because of that. And um, yeah, that is going to wrap it up with this time lapse. Um, go follow me on Twitter if you want more updates. And yeah, we will see you guys um, in just a second. Hello everyone, welcome to the live portion of today's video episode two. Um, so you can see we have some major progress um, that we did to, in today's video. Um, and oh, I just, I love this view. I do want to add some more um, details to this building, but I think this water area is perfect. Um, got the little welcome sign. Let's just take a little walk around. We need more janitors. It's a little full. Um, yeah, I think we need to fill out this area just a little bit more, um, like over there. Um, you can still see some staff building, but that uh, will get taken care of sooner than later, so don't worry. Also, this whole building has got to go. We'll um, do that next episode for sure. Um, we did add some of these. Um, this one is the deforestation. Perfect. Um, we got some... Ooh, I like that view from here. You can kind of see like a sneak peek into the the habitat. Um, we got another thing right here. Forget what they're called. Conservation Education Board. Um, and we got our little info center, which the building will change. Um, and I do want to add another info center right over here, like so. And then we'll get some gates up so that um, people won't be able to walk around. We'll probably do like a big forest like this area, kind of all the way around so you can't really get out. Um, and it's a big grand entrance. Now walking in, um, we'll just take a little sneak peek. Why are you clipping through? That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, well they're clipping through the wall there. Um, these buildings, or the the stations here stalls won't change but the whole building and everything else will uh, so don't worry about that um, we've got over this way we've got the um, the gift shop that is what it's called I'm actually really happy with how this turned out I do want to add some more details um, but we aren't current or we aren't done quite researching you see we do we get three more items whoa I don't oh and those are blueprints oh my gosh why am I even wasting my time oh I'm sorry guys I didn't realize that we were only getting blueprints after that um, but taking a look in the shop I do want to add more stuff on these shelves over here uh, we got some pots and stuff and we need to add more stuff on the shelves 
Um, but I think it looks pretty good for a little gift shop. I like the door, it adds a lot. Um, and then, yeah, we got the same stuff over here. And then um, back this way is just the staff buildings, which we will beautify, don't worry. Um, but now, taking a look at the Japanese macaque. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know if I'm correct. Um, I'm not seeing any yet. Um, I think they might all be inside. Um, because it's raining. Um, we need to call the 64. Yeah, let's let's call that um, thing that person over. Is that one right there? No, oh, it's a tree stump. Um, yeah, okay, they are all in. Um, and during the time lapse, we actually got a baby. A, so we have now five macaques in here. Which is super exciting. Uh, we just had the keeper leave. And yeah, um, so in this episode, um, I guess I didn't really plan on what to do. I just started recording. Um, hmm, should we get another animal? I guess I'd be cool with that. So I was looking into it and I think we could get, well, um, here, let me pull up my sheet really quick. Okay, um, my sheet is now pulled up. Let's look at this. Um, we could get, oh, we could get camels. Let's see what we can even afford. We do have $61,000, so I don't think money is going to be an issue. Um, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the hard mode, but I think I think we're going to be doing okay. Um, what is the camel called? It is called the bacterian camel. Uh, here it is. Let's uh, filter it. Unfortunately, it looks like it is all conservation credits. Why do we have... We don't need you on here. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get... Well, we could get some because they are pretty cheap. I haven't looked into camels at all. Let me do a quick cut and um, let me look into it and how many we need and stuff. Okay, um, so I did go ahead and get two of them. It looks like we can get, um, oh my gosh, I was looking at the amount of people we have, not my conservation credits, so that's interesting. Um, it looks like we can get up to, um, one male and th or up to, I believe, 10 females. Um, and I think we're going to put their exhibit right here. Do camels swim? I don't know anything about them. I know they like the desert, or they're found in the desert because they keep the... Their humps are actually water. Um... Um, guys, I am sorry. I was not prepared to hit the record button. Okay, I did my research. I am back. Let's build this camel exhibit. I am, I mean habitat. I am, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I did learn that they do swim, so we are going to get some terrain in. Um, we are going to do like a little swimming area right here for them. Actually, I don't know how I want to do this exhibit. 
Maybe we can have the path come out and then come back up and here and then we can do the swimming here. Um, let's intensify this up and get this a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, and I do want to do, so I think, okay, so I wanted to keep, like, the temperate, Asia temperate first. Um, not sure why, but I was just kind of going with that. Um, but this animal is a desert and temperate. So, I mean, I wanted to keep the taiga biome, but, um, you can all tell that that's not happening. So, we are going to change it up a little bit. Um, it, it'll be fine, I promise. I feel like I say that a lot. Do I say that a lot? Um, and we're gonna get the path ready. Um, maybe this should be done in a time lapse, but I already started, so I am sorry if you guys don't enjoy this type of video. Let me know, and um, I will make sure that it won't happen again. I do want to get the path set up so that it will be ready. Um, it's not going to snap, unfortunately. Well, the eight. No, I want this to be a 90 degree. What if we delete that? It is a seven. Um, bring that there. And then we connect that. And we delete that. Oh, well, that didn't do anything. Um, okay, so there we go. That's what I wanted to do all along. Uh, so we got that done. Cool. Um, and now we need to, oops, hit X, not Z, because Z won't do anything for us. I want to do it um, not so steep. Just a slight little angle. Um... does that look like? And then... Um, that's actually gonna have to be undi undid because I didn't leave enough room here. Come up like so. Okay. Um, this one XX will get us to this. Let's go like this and push it down like so. Um, let's go down just a tad bit more. Perfect. I just want to make sure that we have enough room. Um, and we will just bring it up quite a ways because we can always take it down. Okay, that looks good to me. Now we'll just take this flatten and flatten it out right there at the top there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's do a little bit more here. A nice big swimming hole for the camels. Um, although they don't need that much space, so maybe not. Maybe like that. We'll edit it too, don't worry. Uh, so let's get the barrier. I'm just trying to think, is this what I want to do? And I think it is. I think, I think, I think. Um, let's keep with the wooden logs theme. I do like that theme. Um, we'll keep it like this. We do want it to come down the- down here. So that we can do the water viewing, which will be awesome. Oh, 
Oh, we are not going in a straight line at all. Let's fix that. Um, to like there, and to there, to there, to there, to there. You know, there's an easier way of doing this to make sure we're doing a straight line. So I don't know, that's definitely not parallel. See, this is why I like to do this kind of stuff in a time lapse. Um, so then you guys don't have to struggle with me. Oh my gosh, that actually worked like perfect though. Perfect! Okay, and then we're going to... Terrain, flatten this, have it connect like that. And then we'll bring that fence back up. Edit the barrier. Add. Oh, no, we gotta go. I hate selecting these. It never does what I want it to. Okay, edit barrier. There we go. Okay, and then... We will do the animal's house. We can do it back here, like the animal's shelter. Um, so we don't need that much inside. Let's go like this and then... Oh, not like that. That should be good. Let's see, let's put the gate on it. Put the gate right here. And now if we click on the gate, it will tell us how big it is. And it is, I don't think that's big enough, is it? Let's see, 650? No, that's not gonna be big enough, which is fine. We, I planned for this. Let's edit the barrier. Um, let's delete. Delete, delete, delete. We'll come out a little bit further. Like that, that should be enough room. I don't like how square it is. Um, We'll, we'll f deal with it later though. So now how big are you? Oops, that was it, 944 square. Okay, and that might not include this. I don't think it does. Um, can I click on, I want this pole? This, no, I can't select multiple poles. Um, let's make it so that it is flat. Um, that should be pretty flat. Cool. Okay, and then I don't have a quarantine yet or the vet surgery which we apparently need, but I haven't needed to use it yet, so I don't know how accurate that is. Just kidding. Um, we should do this, though. Perfect. Okay. Sorry, I got, like, the hiccups or something. Let's go ahead and get some smoothening done here so that the camels can get in this water hole. Um, is the... Okay, cool. That is watertight, which is perfect. I don't know, do we want to go all the way up here? That's a lot of water. Maybe just there. I think that would be plenty. We actually don't have water filtration yet. Um, but let's continue to... I'm gonna manually fix this because 
it's not smoothening well enough and fast enough. So we're just gonna fix it my way. Now let's try smoothening it. Yeah, that's much better. Perfect. And does it- the waters tell you whether they like the rough water or calm water? Cause that'd be pretty cool. I can't tell what the water line is. Um, and what is the other... I do want to get some like hills and stuff in here for them. Um, we're definitely gonna want to add a different area for the shelter, probably out here. Is that gonna be too much? We add that now. Okay, there's a fine line of where that is, or we can go down there. I think I like up there more. Can we edit this? Edit these two and make them glass. And then they will be able to see the camels swimming. How cute. Okay, let's go ahead and get the animals from our trade center and move them into here. Move. They aren't, they don't have the best genes, um, but they were cheap and we can definitely fix that um, along the way. Let's get them in here and then we can decide what they need different. Um, yeah. Inspector arriving in 24 months. Perfect. Ooh, and the rain is stopping, which is nice. Okay. Now, before we do much, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and pause. We have too much long grass, not enough rock or sand. So the terrain is 0%. Let's go ahead and paint the correct terrain in. It'd be fun to build like a mountain in here for them. A lot of sand. Doing a lot of fine sand, and we'll also do a lot of coarse sand. Because they are a desert animal, so they would like more sand and rock, apparently. That look, ah, I hate the way that looks. Oh, and they actually don't need hard shelter. But we will get them the house because it does get cool. Um, and then I don't know if they'll just go into the house when it's too cold for them. Or if um, we need to put heaters out regardless. Um, they don't like much animal or they don't like much coverage. Um, so we will try to work with that. Make sure they have enough openness. Um, are you happy? Yeah, I really don't like the shape of this exhibit. We will definitely be changing that to more natural feeling. Not so straight lines. Um, you're... Welfare is, let's, before we unpause, let's go ahead and get our vet to search, research them. And let's unpause. We have welfare of still 49%. 
We have a VIP guest at our zoo. Let's go ahead and say hello. Perfect. Yeah, I really like this area. I really do. Okay. Um, we saying we need those. Oh, this looks not big enough at all. Um, will they swim? Can you guys see anything? Not really. Let's go ahead and get a donation bin. Um, where are they at? There it is. There we go. And then we can get education. We do have more people coming down here, which is lovely. I love to see that. Um, we can do the education. Oh, I hate that. That is ugly. We'll have to fix that. Um, we will put the camel on there. We'll decorate that up later. Um, are people liking the camel? Do we have any? We don't have any donations yet. Um, but we do have people that are starting to make their ways down here. Um, which is good because then they'll get a better look at the Japanese macaque as well. Um, and the camels if they will swim. Um, my website does see or does say I will link it in the comments. Um, but it does say that they were seen swimming. Bef uh, someone observed them swimming. So that is a good sign for us. Um, everything seems to be going well. Uh, we should definitely get a food source in here for them. So let's go ahead, go to habitat, take out Japanese, and we will do the bacterian camel. Um, I don't think we need a large food trough. Let's do a medium one. Um, let's get that over hard with all the hills. We'll go like right there. That should be good. Um, and then we'll, of course we will get another one inside. We have a gift. <gasps> we have, yay, we did it. We got our first challenge, which is pretty exciting. Awesome. We don't have anyone viewing them right now. We did get some donation for them. That is awesome. Um, what do we have going on here? We do. We did get some camel research. Perfect. So let's go ahead. Um, we will need to actually hire a new keeper. I do want to have at least one keeper per habitat. Um, oh, I can't hire you and place you in. That makes sense. Uh, but you can go in now and clean up that little mess we just got. Um, herb scented. can put that right there. We'll need to put some bedding and some shelter in, even though they don't require it. Uh, but I do, like I said, want to do a building for each animal. Um, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get this path up. Headed up here. And then we'll probably, um, yeah, we can't go that way, but we can do that. We'll probably bring the shelter or the habitat closer. Um, so it'll be, they won't be able to see it right there, but they can then, oh, we'll open it up so that they can see it here. Um, I don't believe you can go in. No, uh, guests cannot go in their habitat, which is completely fine. Um, so, yeah. We will expand this a little bit out here. We might do some hills, some more natural, um, bigger hills. Um, that will probably all be in the time lapse. Um, let's get this path extended a little bit further. Let's go with a length of two. I wonder why, yeah, that was weird. People were actually going down here with no need to. 
So that is quite interesting. Um, I think let's plan on doing the building here. If we put the building here, we can maybe get um, a small guest path to go out back here. Um, of course, we would need something for them to look at over here. So we would need a reason for them to go back there. So I will um, definitely work on planning that out um, for next episode, but until then, I am happy we got another animal, more guests in the park, more things for them to do. And yeah, I hope this episode wasn't too long for you. If you are enjoying the longer episodes, please let me know. Um, if you want them cut down and um, maybe then I could do like a time lapse video and then we could do a real time video instead of doing both the time lapse and real time in one episode. If you would rather have them split up um, and more frequent, we can do that. Um, but otherwise, I am planning on doing about a 30 to 45 minute episode every two days or every three days, sorry, um, every Tuesday and Friday. And yeah, let me know um, all that stuff down below and we will see you guys next time. Oh, they can see their humps from here. That's why they're coming up here. Try to get a better view. How is this donation? I'm still at 240, 12 people? That is actually really good. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!